So this is a Ricard VAV diffuser. Um, this is the VCD model, uh, which means that it has a round circular plate. Uh, the VSD has a square plate uh, and the outside is uh, designed to fit in a 600 by 600 square uh, ceiling. So this is 595 by 595 outside. Um, there's also a VRD which is a round outside um, diffuser. So this is the back of an MLM VCD diffuser. Uh, I'll just go and describe what you are seeing. Um, this diffuser is fitted with a heater, um, as you can see here. It is an option, um, it's a modular option. A standard diffuser without heat uh, will have this part removed. Another option is airflow sensing for airflow measurement and commissioning. Um, it looks similar, it will be in the same position. Every diffuser comes with a slave cable. Uh, slave cable is eight meters um, and is cable tied to the diffuser um, attached to the Jubilee clamp which is secured to the neck of the diffuser. Um, the Jubilee clamp uh, allows you to easily secure the flex to the diffuser and uh, you just need a star or flat screwdriver to, to use it. If the diffuser comes fitted with a heater, like this one, then you will see it has a heater driver or triac fitted to the heater itself. Uh, that heater driver uh, has a power cable that is three meters um, fitted to it. If you need a longer length, please specify. Um, and also specify the kind of plug top that you require for your region. So as I mentioned, every diffuser comes with uh, a inter-diffuser cable. Um, it is eight meters. This cable provides power and communications to the diffuser. Um, to connect diffusers together, you need one of these uh, between each diffuser and it just, you loop them in a daisy chain manner. Every MLM diffuser also comes fitted with an interface box, as you can see here. Uh, the interface box has a number of connections. Uh, the first one, which you can see here, that has a connection already attached is the ribbon cable. So the ribbon cable um, connects whatever modular unit you have attached, in this case a heater. Uh, if it was an airflow sensor, this ribbon cable would be plugged into to uh, the airflow sensor. Um, the interface box always, also has a wall stat um, connection, an RJ12 connection for the, for the wall stat, and um, a changeover or supply air sensor connection. The changeover sensor is designed to reverse the direction of the damper depending on whether hot or cold air is supplied down the duct. Uh, on the other side are your two diffuser, inter-diffuser connections. Um, they are for daisy chaining uh, power and communications from one diffuser to the next. So as you can see, uh, the diffuser comes pre-installed with these shipping tabs, um, two of them. They are labeled, please remove before use. Uh, they are designed uh, for shipping to ensure that this faceplate does not come detached during shipping. So uh, the best um, time to remove these shipping tabs is once you've fitted the diffuser to the ceiling, drop it into its uh, ceiling grid and then uh, remove each shipping tab and recycle. Once you've removed both shipping tabs, then the diffuser's faceplate will be detachable as required. Um, this is only required should some maintenance or uh, if you want to upgrade the diffuser from a slave to an onboard master. Um, that uh, 
uh, procedure will be discussed at a later stage in another video. The diffuser faceplate gets detached by rotating it anti-clockwise and uh, to reattach it you clip it in by rotating it clockwise until you hear a firm click. You'll notice in the center of the diffuser is a cap uh, shaped like the Ricard diffuser logo. This cap, if it's a slave, is blank and has no sensor fitted. Um, if it is a onboard master, then it'll have a sensor fitted behind it. Um, this cap is importantly uh, or strategically positioned in this position. Um, because it's the best place to sense temperature. Um, we suck air over this uh, sensor using a forced induction um, system to ensure that sensing is accurate. So you will also notice that the, uh, the back of the diffuser has this uh, safety cable. Um, the safety cable is intended to prevent the faceplate from falling down when you detach the face. Um, it will hang on the spring. Um, it is possible to remove the entire uh, faceplate if need be. Um, you'll just need to push the end of the clip through the hole here and then the whole clip will come out but it will not come out on its own. Um, you'll also notice the diffuser comes with a label, um, it describes the order number and the diffuser type um, for reference and there is also a small um, schematic showing you how to connect your diffuser up with uh, the power supply, master communications unit and um, what to do with the termination resistors. Um, that will also be described in more detail in another video.